Ah oh, yes, a great time to start the episode. Hello everyone, we're back in Forever Skies. And they just released a gardening update, which comes with a ton of new stuff, as well as a new Under the Dust map location. I redesigned the ship a bit, and with a bit I mean I completely overhauled it. So we now have a nicer looking cockpit, it is also a bit wider, so I can properly look at the map. Although the chair is in the way now, so always something. We are no longer a two-story airship because that was too much of a pain to deal with. Also, the ladder was just getting annoying. We got a nice looking little bedroom. We got the little buddy here. He is, uh, he's been in a chest for like almost half a year, but I finally got him out and got him his own bed. Oh, look at that. He stands up. I thought he only slept. We have the plant. So I guess we can research now, now that I turned it on. This is what we're going to be looking for today. Oh, not particularly sure if today is going to be the right word, because that depends on how far we get. Okay, we got a bit of a kitchen now as well. Actually got some food. Seems like we can stack these items now, so that is fantastic. Does that also mean, yes, we can also stack all the other things. Honestly, you have no idea how happy that makes me, because that is absolutely fantastic. That's going to save so much more space in your inventory. We got a research area. And we got our crafting and storage area. It doesn't seem like any of these items got a boost in size, which is kind of sad. We also have a ton of new stuff to research. Like, apparently this thing. Well, I guess we may as well make a new one, because I want to kind of keep the other one as decoration. Magnetic lure, which will also pick up items instead of just food. There's this entire new tab that came with this update. We can get plant resin plant oil, organic fertilizers. Uh, these are great, we just have to find these locations. We should have probably gone to a garden already. Yeah, that seems to be the new stuff. Oh, what is this? Immunity decrease alert. Right, well, I don't really care, man. Why are we stuck? Mission updated. Enter the labs in infected gardens. Acquire a search. Few mistakes of your kind, but protect yourself first. Um, okay. But what the heck are we stuck on? We should be floating high enough, right? I mean, what is going on? Maybe we're stuck on this because the hitbox is just too big or something? I guess that's the problem. I feel like I just damaged the ship so badly. Anyway, but it sounds good. We have to go to a infected greenhouse, which is fine by me. And where we wanted to go either way. So a bit of a recap of what happened so far, seeing as we're entering chapter two of the story now. We went back to Earth to find a cure to a disease that's going around on the space station. But yeah, as you can see, the world itself is all intoxicated due to some uh, misbehavior by the humans. And where we're calling as well in real life, so there is that. But after we landed, we were looking for clues on how to find this cure. And we stumbled upon some notes of another research team, or expedition team. They led us to this location here eventually, which went under the dust, where we found the expedition team lying dead. But they also had some ideas on where to find the next clues for the cure, and that led us to an infected garden, which led us to this machine here. And now we exactly know what we're supposed to be looking for. And in saying that, I should probably make another one if I wanted to do this. Oh, here it is. Circuit board, crystals, and epoxy. We should also try and make the medium oxygen tank, or presumably the large one whenever we get that. That should be in the game now too. As the new Under the Dust location is about four times bigger than the previous one, so that's going to be quite a bit of fun. All right, now we have that. We can research this. Oh, we don't have to be here particularly, but I do want to check this out. Mission updated. Localize evolved flora. Use it to create the cure. Test it. Come back to me again. Just be careful. I wonder why it's glitching out so often. Oh, well, we actually have to go over there. We are here. This is also an infected greenhouse. So from what I remember, we had to make a booster. A storm is coming. From what I remember, storms are bad and we have to leave. Alright, in order to make the booster, we need it, uh, guests or not this, or whatever the heck it is pronounced, which we should now have. But there we go. We also needed this other one that we luckily already had. If you ever want to see which research you have completed and how to make them, and you have them in your well, study section and then a virus sample analyzer. Quite glad we didn't need this one because I have no idea where to get the thorn bee honey from yet. But anyway, with those, as well as a medical reagent, we can make the immunity booster. What the heck is... What the hell? Why is this thing, like, right down here? This is what we got stuck on, I guess? Oh, is that part of our ship? Is that why we have been having issues, maybe? 
Why is it down there, though? Because I've lined it perfectly flat multiple times. I guess the update must have messed something up, but... I don't see a catwalk missing anywhere. We found our very first seeds. The Lee Fire Seed. I think that is a new plant, because I don't recognize the name. Not actually find much of anything, though. I think we have to have a regular garden instead to find a lot of the plants I want to look for. Let's see, there were some garden stuff. Wrecked water tank, large sprinkler... Ah, here we go. We can find some wrecked pipe, wrecked sprinklers. Oh, right, let's see what we can scan, if we can any. Oh, wait, no. You see that over there? I think these are the pipes that we're looking for. Yeah. Then that must be the sprinkler system. All right, great. What else were we looking for? The Maidrias Incubator. You think that's in this room as well? How do we get in here, though, is the other question. There we go. Found the entrance. Now what can we scan around here? A hedgehog figure. Oh yeah, I'm taking that. I'm not seeing the new thing that we we're supposed to look for. There's a hair figure. I don't see anything to scan here. So I'm guessing that it's pretty well hidden. Or not on this particular infested garden. Actually, that's not a infected one, is it? No, that's going straight under the dust. I don't want to go there yet because I don't have a huge air tank or anything. You know these little statues that we found? Oh man, you can walk over to them, that's kind of sad. I thought I could use them as barriers. And that's why I always pay attention where you walk. Well, if anything, I didn't want to see if the immunity booster would get reset, because that was a thing that happened at some point. Uh, I guess it doesn't anymore when you die. No, before I got here, I should have probably emptied my inventory. On the other hand, I found this in here. A nice little cup of tea. Well, just a cup, anyway. The fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? Hello? Okay. Normal music is going on again. I think that over there is a regular garden. Or oh, actually, no, that might be a radio tower. Now I'll look at it. Well, whatever the heck it is. I'm gonna go check it out. Again, before we go and explore under the dust again, I do want to at the very least get the medium oxygen tank, which does require the green colander. Looking at this, no, this is the greenhouse I am looking for. Sweet. Sweet, we got some new things around here. This is where we can get water tank, water sprinklers, the green colander seeds that we were looking for. Well, we're looking for the plant, but we can actually get the seeds here too by the looks of it. And I wrecked this stiller. Let's go fetch us some items real quick. Oh, we got a data card, a chrome, a paint tool, and some new seeds. We should see if we can set up a garden real quick, though, too. I mean, that is the entire point of the update, after all. Oh, that's a bee's nest. Now, do I want to be stupid? Shoot that down. Run away real quick. That's safe to do? I guess that is safe to do. Also, we got the honey that we were looking for as well. Well, not really actively looking for it, but we do have it, which is great. See, so I think these are the colanders, right? Yes. Sweet. Now that we have a big freezer, we can just kind of take everything as well, so I don't really have to care much about, you know, if it is going to be perishable or not, which was another issue I used to have. The old distillation. I guess nice. That is one of the things we were looking for. What the hell is this? Master plans, all right. Well, can I scan these? Oh, these are the water tanks. Oh, and there's another new machine. A pot... Uh, pot. Okay, so one was big, that was small. I guess these both kind of small. Ouch, I can't see shit. Probably not the smartest idea to just jump down. So let's see, right? So we need, let's say, some small gardening plots. So we need rotten food. Oh, that's good that we actually have that done. And with the dusk moth, we can get the inhibitor that we needed. I just put the last one in the pot, so... Whoops. Anyway, let's do some researching. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The photophobia that we had became a chronic phonophobia. So we need to make an inhibitor now. Let's see what does it take. Three dust moths. I also need a ton of rotten food. Feels like a lot of fishing has to be done here. Right, I think we researched everything, right? Uh, all the new things, anyway. So this one, easy enough. The small water tank, easy as well. And also, real quick, I want to make that medium oxygen tank before I forget. Or before we run out of resources, one or the other. So this area right here is where we want to have all the plants. Okay, we can just add dirty water to it. How do I see if it's full, though? Because I didn't see any water being added to it. Actually, there's a ton of dirty water here we should load up before we leave. I got a ton of empty bottles anyway. So we need to find the rack, the large sprinkler still. 
I guess we got the call under seed as well, although I never found that particularly, but probably happened when we picked up the one thing. I imagine that the large sprinkler like, has to be in this area, right? Where the trees are? Because I imagine that's what they're used for. But most of these have grown out of the top. They don't seem to have a sprinkler. But there was also this part underneath here that we seemingly can't really go to. Because it's locked on the inside, but that's probably the large sprinkler. We need to figure out how to get in there. Ah, I see the docking plank. That probably means we have to use that to get in there. Sweet, I just got our third dust moth. Which means we can make the inhibitor. Means we can get cured. Hell yeah. Oh nice, we're like right underneath it. Though what I wanted to do first is dock the plank here. Get a bunch of the water bottles out. Start filling them up. Does it hold infinite water? Because I never really checked this part out. Because I never really had use of this much water. Oh man, that actually holds a lot of water. Damn. Right, the tank is filled. We do still have quite a bit of dirty water, but I want to fuel up completely. So water should basically never be an issue anymore, now that we know this. We get low on water, we just fly towards one of these greenhouses, load up. Alright, let's get back into the building of things. So we can now make the small plot. Now that we have our rotten food, we got the perfect amount. Question is, what do we want to grow first? I think these two are completely new plants in general. We already have a couple ink bulbs, so we should probably get for probably the leaf fire. That at least is my... Oh my goodness, it's so tiny. I knew it wasn't going to be big, but that is really small. Alright, I probably want to have some sort of table for that. Let's see, we probably want to have it like so. We can still walk behind here, of course, and fill up this. We can even fill it up from here, the water tank. That is nice. And let's see how these are going to work. So we connect them up. Or actually, no, I'm stupid. There was a sprinkler system. That's probably all we have to connect this to. Okay, there we go. It is watering. But something tells me that it isn't watering this. Alright, let's turn that off because that is kind of useless if it uh, uses everything up. But at least we have it set up for, I presume, whenever we have like a big uh, flower pot. So that is fantastic. It also looks like we can have three seeds, which is great because we have three of them. Wait, never mind, we can only have one. But it seems to be making three of them, so that is fantastic. All right, now let's move the ship around a bit. See if we can fiddle our way in here. Now, this is a danger area, but I think if I grab my crossbow, we can shoot the thing off there before it can damage us. And it's probably around the corner, so I guess that isn't going to work as good as I hoped. Where did it go? There we go. That was so close, though. Ooh, weather sprinkler posts are nice. And there is the big one. Let's add our little poster to the wall here. The water sprinkler poster. And then our next goal would be to go to the big axe on a raider. Which is going to be the next under the dust location. So that's why I'll set course. It seems like we still have quite a bit to like re-explore as well. They've added quite a bit of things to older locations. But here it is though. The new under the dust location. However, we're going to be checking that out next episode. So I hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye, everyone.